I was uh, in the military for five years, and uh, I uh, got caught up with the wrong people and actually um, found myself um, in confinement. And I did two years in there, and when I first got there, um, I didn't know God or anything like that. I had a person that um, would talk to me every day about God. He was the person that um, is, was in charge of the worship program in the confinement facility at the time. He eventually um, taught me how to play guitar. I was learning the songs that they had in the hymn book, but I wanted to learn more. I just had this incredible thirst for um, music for God. And I finally made minimum custody and I was allowed a radio. Where I sat in my room, only one radio station would come in, and that was Caleb. And I started listening to it, and I started learning, and I asked our chaplain, you know, to pull me off some chord sheets for different Christian music that I was hearing on Caleb and everything. And one of the biggest ones, one where I really let go and finally gave myself to God was the Voice of Truth by Casting Crown. Oh, yeah. The very first song that um, I had us play for church was um, The Voice of Truth by Casting Crown. And I owe it all to Caleb because I didn't even know who God was until I listened to Caleb. I now have a felony on my record that follows me everywhere I go, but I now own my own business making $70,000 a year. I've been married. I just had my seven-year marriage anniversary. I have two kids and one on the way, and I couldn't be happier. Prison was a blessing for me because of God, and it doesn't matter where you're at. He is there if you just take the time to seek him out. But the voice of truth tells me a different story. The voice of truth says do not be afraid.